So I saw this tweet, a bit confused by the statement at the end saying it's an innovation release. I guess that's not suitable for production then. Whoa, Nelly, you could not be more wrong. So let's clear the air here and be honest. If you're watching a upgrade video on 21C, there's a good chance it's because of the upgrade time bomb that you're sitting on, which is you've got some 11.2 systems which are about to become out of support and you're looking at moving them to a release of Oracle, which is a bit more modern. But I want to say one thing that's super important when it comes to upgrading. Stop freaking out about upgrades. I know you're sitting there going, oh my goodness, 12C, 18s, 19s, 21C, release upgrade, release upgrade revisions, etc. Are you expecting us to be upgrading every single year? Do you have any idea how hard that is? The regression testing, the budget approval, etc., etc. It's impossible. It just makes me want to scream. <coughs> the answer is no. And rest assured, it's not something that Oracle would undertake lightly. The amount of development effort it takes to crank out releases every single year is a major undertaking on our part. So why did we do it? Well, here's a revelation for you. It's predominantly about you. This is very much driven by what we see are the two customer types that exist there out in the workplace. And rest assured, before I joined Oracle for 20 plus years, I worked as an Oracle customer. And these are my observations as well. This isn't just some Oracle marketing spin. There's two kinds of customers that I've experienced in my entire Oracle career. First customer, I'll call them the WTH, the what the hell, or you could pick a different term of profanity if you choose, the W2H customer. And that is, what the heck? Why do I have all these releases coming out? I don't want to upgrade. I just want security patches because Paramount nowadays is my database being secure, but otherwise, leave me alone. And rest assured, we have a release strategy for exactly that. If you look at this diagram, you can see 11G was supported for the best part of a decade. And even though we're doing annual releases, only certain iterations are what we call long-term support releases. So if you're a customer that is reticent about upgrading, there's no huge benefit for you, except for making sure you're secure, then yes, you jump from 11 to 19. And then when the next long-term release comes out, probably somewhere in, say, 23C, you would jump to that. We are catering for those customers that don't want to upgrade often because they're not using the latest and greatest features. They just want a rock solid, rock solid security Oracle database. But don't forget, there are other kinds of customers. There are customers what I call the OMG, the oh my goodness customers, which is for them, they've been frustrated perhaps in the past about waiting for new features to come out. They might need some feature which is going to give them that business competitive edge, that thing that's gonna make or break the success of their applications and hence their commercial enterprise. And in the past, they've been waiting for features to come out. Now they get them much more frequently because we have these releases that come out every single year. If we're going to have releases every single year, and only some of them are long-term support releases, the other ones are what we call innovation releases. We have innovative new features got to customers in production form as quickly as possible to avoid the frustrations of the past. And rest assured, this is not something you have to do across your entire enterprise. You can make this decision at a database by database level. Literally the last customer I worked with before I joined Oracle did exactly this. They had one database, their data warehouse, it was on 11G, we moved to 12.1. The reason, a single feature we were desperate to have, pattern matching in SQL, because they were doing things like fraud analysis, etc. Then they went from 12.1 to 12.102, why? For in-memory, a fantastic addition to any data warehouse. And then we went from 12.102 to 12.2 because of the online data movement facilities. Therefore, we could do things like compressing data in the data warehouse without disrupting service. For that same customer, they had an OTP database where they were on 11.204, very happy with that. They didn't go to 12.1, they moved to 12.2 so we could do the same online table movement so we could archive off older data without interrupting vital transactions. And that's where they were at when I were left 
and then they're planning on moving to 19C for that long-term support. So at a database by database level, you get to choose. The choice is entirely yours which strategy you want to adopt. You can go hopping between long-term support releases to minimize your upgrade effort, or you can jump on those innovation releases to pick up those business critical killer features that you love about the Oracle database. The choice is yours, plenty of options there for you to explore.